What do you think? Should I do commercials? <laughs> I don't think so. But I have to tell you a story. And the tuna can is very important to that story. You see, this morning I woke up and I was out of sorts. Some of you are not going to believe that, but I was like, I was just wiggling and jiggling around in my brain. I'm working on a new speech, unusual life lessons for working with people. And I just could not get that final part. You know, the part that just is going to bring it all together. And I'm just, ooh, will I ever get it? Will I ever get it? And just fussing and fighting with myself. Do you ever do that? I don't do it often, but today was that day. And also my house smelled. I'm like, what is that smell? And finally I walked into the kitchen and I'm like, oh my God, it's tuna cans. Oh, how come I did not take that tuna can out to the trash bin last night? So you've all had those moments, haven't you? We're like, oh, it just smells and nothing is going right. And then I was like, oh, that's it. I hit, I hit on it. The thing that's going to make this beach just not dead, funny and fun. And so <laughs> I'm going to briefly tell you the story, part of the story. It was a long time ago working in car sales. We worked way, way, way too much, but oh my gosh, I was learning so much about people. It was fascinating. And <laughs> the general manager finally took a day off. We were kind of sick of him. He worked all the time. Oh my gosh. He's just there, 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 there. And he, <laughs> and he took a couple days off and he came back and he was not, you know, chipper. You're supposed to come back like, whoa, I've, I've had, you know, relaxation and fun. He did not come back like that. He was kind of, you know, he was just kind of so, and they said, dude, what, what's going on? And he said, well, the first day my wife made tuna sandwiches for lunch and they had a lot of kids so we had spent some time at home and, <laughs> and he said um, and I was mad at her because she put the tuna can right in the trash compactor and I was gonna have to smell tuna for the next three days and and so I yelled at her about it and said wash the tuna cans out and he said I realized as the words were coming out of my mouth I should not have let that little tiny thing come out of my mouth or to be a thing in our world and he said so we had this great big knockdown drag out and she can stay mad. That is not my gift. I can't stay mad. I don't know about you, but she could. And so <laughs> they had this wonderful long weekend planned and instead they were mad the whole weekend every time he'd walk into the kitchen he'd smell tuna cans every time he'd walk into the kitchen she said there's no tuna cans in here <laughs> and they just they just wiggled and fought all weekend long and it was not fun <laughs> and so he said on the final night I said I'm sorry for the tuna cans and she and she said I'm sorry for the tuna cans too and guy I washed them out before I put them in the garbage disposal you were not smelling tuna I don't know what you were smelling but he said I realized then that we have the choice to let the little things get under our skin and ruin all of our fun or we can just have fun with life and quit worrying about the tuna cans so that's my thought on this wonderful Wednesday. Quit worrying about the tuna cans. Mm, chicken at the sea. What's the best tuna? There, I was singing for you. <laughs> you guys, don't worry about the tuna cans. Go out. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. And all is right in my world. It's going to be a fun speech. And I maybe you'll get to hear it. You never know. Talk to you later. Bye.